Thank you, Chairman Takano. My amendment would include the text of my and Ranking Member Boss Bill, H.R. 2326, the Veterans Cyber Risk Awareness Act, uh, to the underlying ANS, which I support. I was forced to offer this amendment tonight when H.R. 2326 was not included in today's agenda. The full committee on, on violent extremist groups made two things very clear when we, when we had that hearing a few weeks ago. First, we're missing crucial data that would help us understand the scope and severity of veteran involvement in online and, and violent groups. Second, recruitment by extremist groups is happening as we speak right now. And it's often happening online and on social media. HR 2326 would address both the need for more data by requiring a study by an outside entity and our desire to empower veterans by providing useful resources to make informed decisions online. Every day that we delay this legislation is another day that veterans are not being provided helpful information and researchers are not studying the extent to which this issue is pervasive among our military veterans. Um, we all know this and the reason I'm so sure my bill, our bill would be helpful is because the VA took it upon themselves to partner with an organization called Cybercrime Support Network to provide resources and information to veterans about the cyber risks that they're facing online today. This type of partnership is exactly what our bill would create and the VA's decision to pursue it under their own authority highlights the need for their need for cyber risk awareness resources. I congratulate the VA for their proactivity, but it does not mean that HR 2326 is redundant or unnecessary because this bill would also require the very important study of veterans and their actual cyber risks. And if, you know, when we had that last um, hearing a few weeks ago, you know, we didn't get a lot of that data. And that data is not being collected now, at least sufficiently for this committee, I believe, to make, I think, poignant and important policy decisions for veterans. So the test of this amendment is supported. The text of this amendment is supported by the disabled American veterans, veterans of foreign wars, student veterans of America, paralyzed veterans of America, and the Wounded Warrior Project. I hope, it is my great hope, that this overwhelming support that we have for this bill and this amendment is clear that uh, we need to adopt this amendment. Anything otherwise, I feel like we'd be playing politics. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back.